Well, good morning, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. It's sure good to see you guys, and you, it's always good to see you, Papa Ron. Thanks, You're Ron. the man. Oh, brother. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing awesome, man. Hey, we've had several people comment about you in the comments, and I know you read them too. I but know. Um, a couple of them I've responded back and given them your philosophy in life. That happiness is a choice. Yeah, it is. I got that on my mirror. I I, I have it written on my mirror because I know it by heart. It says hap it's the, uh, happiness is a choice, and I choose to be happy. Now, I got that little saying written on my mirror, and I say it three times when I get it out loud. And you have to say it out loud, and I've been doing it my whole life. And it uh, it has helped me in my attitude towards things. <laughs> I'm the bad influence of the match here. <laughs> he can only deal with me for so long during the day. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rod, I've been, uh, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but I have about this volcano over in Hawaii. Sure, yeah. And, uh, man, it's... Yeah, it's really done some destruction over there. Anyway, it's kind of scary. And they say the big eruption still hasn't hit yet. They're expecting a, a big kaboom. So this morning I was kind of thumbing through pictures and kind of seeing the devastation and, you know, and that lava going through fences. And it's pretty interesting. But then I saw this picture here. I'm going to click on it. And can people see that? I mean... <laughs> that is funny <laughs> well I'm not picking on these guys and there's more than just these two golf and I'm not picking on them as individuals but well there's just, a good you know there's a whole there's a whole video just on this picture <laughs> is it really oh you oh, mean yeah. we could do one yeah we could do a whole video on yeah. this picture yeah but it's just, just it just kind of showed it just kind of showed me how smug we are as a people and a society that uh, we just don't give a rat's ass about anything that we are above everything and in control of everything and They're talking about in control now this old boy is definitely in control he's controlling that ball going down the fair line fair lane <laughs> whatever it's called huh yeah. You know, I've never golfed a day in my life. And I, when I was a younger man, I caddied an awful lot. And back then, we didn't have these little carts we got now, like you see in that picture. We had to, we had to carry a big old bag on my, on my. Of course, I was a lot stronger then, and I could walk a long way. <laughs> today, today, if I run or walk, I can't even run or walk to the bathroom without passing out. <laughs> <laughs> So is that is that uh, did you did you say something about that then or just wanted to give what you used to do, Caddy? I just wanted that way. I, oh. I just wanted to say about it. Sure. Also about the control of the ball. You know, he is in control. Oh. But you know that that brings up a good point, though. We are so, like you said, we are so self-absorbed into this. We just don't care. You know, disaster can be looking at you in the face. And we still don't prepare. <laughs> yeah, prepare, and we just have, I don't know. It, it's just, it was an interesting shot to me. That, it uh, was, it is. It just sums up how we are as a society and as a people, man. We are just so self-absorbed, like you said. And, um, and, and, and all those other people in the background are, uh, are some are taking pictures and other looking, you know. And I'm going, my heck, I'd be running the other way. <laughs> I'd be getting my fanny down to the grocery store, picking up what I needed. And, and of course, that's that's typical, too. We always wait till the catastrophe hits before we think we yeah. need to get stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, when yeah. I lived in Texas, I went through probably about four or five hurricanes down there. And, uh, you know, the grocery stores would be packed to the gills before the hurricane hit and about two days before it hit the grocery store shelves were empty and that was about in a day and a half 
people would rush in there and just well that's what's interesting and i'm not trying to belabor this but with a hurricane you have some notice you have some time time. but man in an earthquake like what utah has here and and other things i mean these tsunamis i mean all of a sudden it's there baby uh, you know look at the mid uh, mid uh, Midwest uh, uh, or, the, or the middle of the country, you know, you have all them tornadoes and tornado alley, and those things hit like that. Yeah, you know, that's right. Some basement prepared something. Anyway, I, we already went over that. Sorry. Well, folks, here, here's uh, <laughs> today's presentation, and it's on this Gotenna. Here's a brother and sister team from Brazil. Gotenna launches a Bitcoin wallet that works without the internet. Now, that is pretty cool. They actually started this, Rod, back in um, um, 2014, and they came up with a device, and here's a picture of that device, um, 2014, and they, even though he was aware of Bitcoin and stuff, they actually wanted to focus this on text messages and stuff in times of disaster, or he he made the thing that every time you'd go to these town town um festivities and stuff you couldn't text or anything there because there there just wasn't enough internet bandwidth i guess so he he can he uh came up with this thing that works on low frequency radio waves kind of like a a, is that like a walkie-talkie i guess rod yeah you know yeah and and short range uh. short range it's only about three miles and it could go up to 50 if the conditions are right. But since he's made it now and he's and he's hooked up with a Bitcoin wallet outfit, and um, what was I going to say that about that? Cool. No, it is. That, that is cool. Well, not that it would be prime today. If you wanted to send Bitcoin from Utah <clears throat> to Florida, there's no way. But how it works is that you get a pair of these for I think the price was 179 bucks, and they've sold over a hundred thousand of these. Wow. So they're getting on the map, but there's a couple things I want to points I want to make. One, what you can do is you can bounce off each other's antennas to further the distance. Oh. So the more people that have them, the further you can go. And once you finally connect into somebody that does have the internet, if that was available, then then you could go as far as you wanted from there. So talk about... Well, that's why it's called Gotana, like a antenna, but Gotana. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, it is. So if this thing became... And, and here's the second point I want to make, is that this is just the start of this. Even though we started this in 14... I think technology might come around to where we might be able to do something like this. As long as you got battery juice in your phone, maybe sooner or later, maybe the uh, technology will go to where we don't need the internet. Wouldn't that really be cool? (laughs) Talk about total decentralization and total anonymous to be anonymous. So... Right now, yeah, that that was kind of his thoughts on this, um, but and so what you do is the wallet they and it's open source this wallet, so there'll be other adaptions I'm sure that come forth. Um, but what you do is you go into that app that's in your cell phone, the Go Tenant app, and you go to settings and take it offline, and then it connects into this thing. And I guess you have to carry this little thing with you. Um, to give you that service. But anyway, I just thought that was cool. I think it's technology in the works. People are proactive on this stuff, and it's just a matter of time, maybe. It's amazing. It what is. They come up with. They're just a young brother and sister. <laughs> yeah, and that was back in 14, before the big yeah. crypto wave was even coming yet. Yeah. So now that it's official out there and it's working and they've sold several, you know, maybe some of these high-tech gurus will get on board and figure this thing out to give it some distance. I don't know anything about radio waves. You military guys might, but um, how all that works. But anyway, I thought that was... I mean, it it can't be long, but if it bounces off each other, that would be cool if you had a whole, you know... If you had enough of them in a city, that's right. (laughs) That's right. Then then maybe you can connect up and uh, 
get to where you're going with it. But anyway, I thought that was uh, worth sharing anyway. Yeah, there you go. Back to you, Ron. Thank you. That's a cool little device. I think that's a... I'm always astonished and amazed how you young millennials come up with all this stuff, man. I'm always (laughs) mind-boggled. Hey, y'all take care. We sure appreciate you watching this little short video here. We, uh, we, We saw this and we wanted to bring it to you so you could see all the technologies going and yeah, well, that thing's going to be busting wide open here in a minute, like we always say, the crypto world. Appreciate y'all joining us. Pound that thumbs up, and God bless.